What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. And at No Hippie Barbecue, we're not just about the chilling and grilling lifestyle. Sometimes we need to bring in different techniques of cooking just to keep things interesting. Today, we're gonna be doing some limpid butter cod. We're gonna be using my air fryer. If you watch this video and like what you see, smash that subscribe button and become a member of No Hippie Barbecue. We'd love to have you. People like to use air fryers because you can use these air fryers with little or no oil. We're throwing that out the window today on this recipe because we're definitely going to be using a lot of butter in this recipe. Anyway, recipe is going to be very simple. I saw this recipe on a website called justapinch.com. I'm going to leave a link to that website in the description below. And they basically just did a regular baked version of this, but I thought it would be a great way to cook it in our air fryer. Anyway, come on in, take a look what these ingredients are, and we'll get cooking. Now when I said this was going to be an easy recipe, I meant it was going to be an easy recipe. So first of all, I have my cod, I've rinsed it off, cut it into portions, and patted them dry. We have some flour. Now in their recipe, they just use salt and pepper. What I'm going to be using is uh, seasoning from a company called Sweet Smoky Joe. I'm using their fish and seafood seasoning. Let's go ahead and throw that into the flour. We're gonna mix that up a little bit. I'm gonna leave a link to where you can buy this in the description below. They have a lot of good stuff on their website and it's actually very inexpensive. Run by there, take a look at what they have. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that in. We have some lemon juice and a lemon. I'm gonna use this lemon for garnish later on, but let's go ahead and add our lemon juice to our butter. And this is just a little bit of butter that I have melted down. And we have uh, cilantro. In their recipe they used parsley, but there's no better herb than cilantro out there. So if you're a cilantro hater, just mince up some parsley. And then we have some uh, ground paprika to add a little bit of color to this. Anyway, those are really all the ingredients we're going to be using. Let's get on to cooking. This has to be one of the easiest recipes you could do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our cod fillet. And like I said, we do have these dried off. I pat them with the paper towel. We're going to get them into our butter and lemon mixture. Bring them over to our seasoned flour. And make sure it's coated pretty good. And we're just going to set it on this wire wrap. Now this fish recipe isn't going to be like a super crisp uh, air fried fish. What we're going to be doing with this, once we get it in our air fryers, we're actually going to be adding a little bit more butter on top of it and the paprika for color. So let's go ahead and get our air fryer preheated. The reason we want our air fryer preheated is we don't want our fish to stick to this basket during the cook. So I've already sprayed the inside of this with some uh, non-stick cooking spray. I have our air fryer at 400 degrees. We're going to let it go for about five minutes. So now that this is done getting preheated, we're going to go ahead and add our fish to it. And it looks like I'm going to end up doing two batches. So we have our fish in. Let me pull this basket out a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and drizzle a little bit of this butter on it. And you could hear that sizzling. All right, so we got that. Now we're just going to hit it with a little bit of this paprika. Well, all right, now the instructions say to cook this for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees. I think with an air fryer that might be a little bit much, so we're just going to go ahead and cook it at 350 degrees and we're going to do it for, I'm going to check on it in 15 minutes. So it looks like this fish is done. We're in our last minute. I think that's good to go. Just going to go ahead and plate this up. Now what I'm plating this on is I cut up some cucumber, some tomato, some red onions, a little bit of cilantro added some white wine vinegar, some olive oil and salt. Made like, like a little salsa for this to go on. It's very tasty, let me tell you. Anyway, so we got that. I'm gonna go ahead and garnish it with a little bit of parsley flakes.
And those uh, lemon slices, we're not going to need those for anything other than garnish. So we're going to go ahead and hit some here. Hit some here. Now it's just time to get into this taste test. So if this tastes as good as it looks, we got a banger on our hands right here. Anyway, I'm going to get a piece of this fish, get a little bit of this sauce up in here. And this has had a chance to sit for about five minutes, so the fish has sat kind of on that salsa for a little bit, so it's kind of soaked into the bottom. I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. This is the bottom. As a matter of fact, I love this. I'm telling you, the, this salsa, you know, like I said, very simple to make, but I may do just a purely baked version of this without any breading at all, because I think that might even highlight the flavor of this fish even more. But as is, this is the bomb. You cannot go wrong with this salsa. There, let me stop. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I do appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.